Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Zelda Link's Awakening. These kids are freaking the hell out. We should probably get up here and do some hero stuff, guys. Apparently some bad things happened. What's up, lady? Madam Meow Meow says, Ay, it's terrible. My Bow Wow was dognapped by moblins. Oh, oh, please, somebody help my poor Bow Wow. Uh, I don't know. I'm a little busy right now. Got this whole windfish thing going on. Just got a jar. Really like to go find a fairy to put in it, but I guess I could help you out. Is it the big one that's missing? Yeah, because the little one's still in here. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. So we know from the owl that we're supposed to go north back to the swamp. We've already screwed around up there a little bit. But we can probably do some more things now. Gotta get through the mysterious forest. Stab this guy. These are old school moblins, man. Making the pig sounds and everything. <laughs> Somewhere around the uh, Ocarina of Time, the moblins started becoming like... I don't know, I guess they were still piggish. They just didn't really make pig noises. You know what I'm saying? So, um, now we can jump over here. That's just a shortcut, though. It doesn't actually open up anything new. So I still can't lift these things. Oh, but you know what? I can get this now, which is pretty sexy. Hell yeah. I guess it's actually going to make me do this? Oh no, that was weird. The game just like lagged out for a second. It wouldn't let me close that dialogue. <laughs> uh, whatever. This game does have performance issues, which is really sad. But what are you going to do? Tall Tall Heights is up that way. I'm pretty sure we're not supposed to go there yet. Let's go ahead and consult Mr. Map. Um, doesn't actually tell me the names of these areas. Gotta zoom out a little bit, gotcha. So yeah, we need to get... I guess I should go left, actually. We gotta go left and then up. There's probably a spot I can jump right over, if I had to guess. Yep, here we go. That's right, the like-likes are up here! Scary! Kaponga Swamp is to the right. Okay. Let's see what's in this house first. Oh, this guy looks like a nerd. He looks like Mr. Wright from SimCity. <laughs> I think. I've never actually played that game, but I think I've seen him before. Oh my god, his name is Mr. Wright. Are you kidding me? Is that, like, a direct reference to SimCity? I could just be making all this up, because I've never actually played that game, but I swear to god, like, I knew this guy's name. That's really weird. Well... All right, I pretty much stick to myself. Me and my letters, my name's right. The only thing I don't like about my hobby is that I never receive a response. That's probably because you're an enormous nerd and nobody wants to talk to you. Well, I pretty much stick to myself. Me and my letters. Yeah, okay. Give me your parrot. This is my parrot now. What are you going to do about it? I'm not going to do anything. I can't do anything with the parrot. Okay. I don't know why that guy exists. Maybe we'll come try and talk to him some more later. Go away, like, like. I don't like these things, man. Like, it's not a huge deal to lose your equipment to them most of the time, because there's always a way to get it back, right? But it's just annoying. Like, it feels bad. <laughs> I don't like dealing with it. I've been told that those Hylian shields that I'm seeing in the shops are the exact same thing that I have. They're just there as a replacement, I guess, in case I lose mine. So... And they're only like... It was only like 20 rupees, right? So that's really not a big deal. Let's see what Orira has to say. Bring, bring, hello, this is Orira. Well, most moblins live in the mysterious forest, but some live in the caves of Tall Tall Heights. I hope that is what you wanted to know. Click. Yeah, thanks. Alright, so... 
Oh, everything respawned. That sucks. I think we could go north right now, guys. Maybe I'll just go see what's in this cave up here. Ow. This guy's a dick. Yeah, back up. Oh, that was sick. Did you guys see that? Get a sweet air attack. Wassa! <laughs> That's really cool. Hey, I just want to take a look at these um, these caves here and see what's inside. Oh, boy. Okay. That was a surprise attack. No big deal. This is going to be a bunch of crap I can't actually get yet. Oh, maybe I can get this one. Hold up. Okay. All right. 20 rupees? Worth the excursion, I would say. I was half expecting that to be a trap. <laughs> I was expecting a mimic to just pop out and be like, what up? So I've already killed these guys like eight times, but you know, it's important, guys, because this is how you farm rupees. And I'm gonna need a lot of rupees to play the crane game <laughs> if I want to get all that stuff. I think it's gonna be pretty damn tricky. Hey then. Oof. A little bit of a little bit of slowdown here in the water. Oh, it's like I'm walking through molasses. Stupid dirty swamp water. Alright. What's going on up here? That thing is spewing things at me. Poison clouds, I guess. Did you stop doing that? Maybe. What? Ah! What the hell is going on in this place? I don't like this place. <laughs> this is very bad. Okay, I guess we can go up and around here. Here we go. I don't like these guys either. The fact that I can't attack them until they come up, but they can still hurt me. Feels pretty bad, man. Okay, that doesn't lead anywhere. I cannot pick up these rocks. Where the hell am I supposed to go? I'm blocked everywhere I go by rocks. I don't like it. And there's a chest right there that I want. So, is there a way to get past these damn things, I wonder? They hurt if you just walk into them, so... Maybe I'm not meant to be messing with them right now. Hmm. Wait, can I just jump over these? Nope. <laughs> now I'm dead. Okay. That's fine, though, because I actually kind of want to see how the dying works in this game. As far as, like, where is it going to respawn me? How much progress do I lose? Oh, look at that. <laughs> we start right here. That's awesome. Okay. I guess they're pretty generous about the checkpoints then, which I am a fan of. Okay, we got to figure something out here, guys. There's nothing down there. I don't know why I keep going down there. There's got to be something else we can do. This area is dangerous, man. Everything hurts really bad. We're being stingy with the heart drops, too, as it turns out. Well, that's disconcerting because this is the way I'm supposed to go by all accounts. But didn't see an actual way forward there. Let's refill my hearts. Now. Okay, I guess three hearts is as good as it gets right now. <laughs> Let's see, we can climb up here. Tall, tall mountain range. Yeah, I don't think we're supposed to be here right now. Music. The fish stirs in the egg. 
You are there. You are doing a bunch of acid. That's how I feel about what you just said. And I can't actually do anything up here. At least not right now. Yeah, I kind of figured. We gotta figure something out. Let's see. Yeah. Huh. Okay, maybe I was supposed to go this way down here. Maybe there's a path right there that leads back up into the swamp. Which is hot. I mean, we could go talk to the witch. Oh no, I didn't expect to be gated off here. But such is life, I guess. We will find another direction then. Yeah! Get out of here, you stupid moblin. Stab you and all your friends. So from here... Yeah, okay, this literally just leads to the other side of where I was. But that is the swamp over there. That's where they told me to go, isn't it? Mount Tamaranch? Hmm. I don't know, maybe they just meant go around the swamp. <laughs> oh, snap! I've got... I've got power and defense. Oh, I guess it overrode the defense. Or it overrode the power. The defense overrode the power, is what I'm trying to say. You can't have them both, apparently. Dompe's Shack. No crap. I can't remember if he was in the original game. So Dompe is definitely in Ocarina of Time. That's like the earliest game I remember him being in. Maybe they added him to this for the remake? I'm not sure. Dompe says, huh? What you doing here so early? You can't come in yet. I'm still setting up. Oh, okay. Yeah, in Ocarina of Time, he is a grave digger, which would be why he had a shovel there, I would assume. I don't know what he's doing in this game. But we'll find out eventually, probably. You're close to Tall Tall Heights. Stomp Bay Shack is nearby. Okay. Oh, look at these trees. Oh, that's creepy as hell. I love it. Let me see if I can get anywhere else around this area. Ow. Dude, there's a good arm. Okay. You know what I think of that? These guys are lighting me up. Jerks. So this just wraps back around. The windfish in name only, for it is neither. Interesting. So we got a cave we can go into right there. I guess that's probably what we should do right now. Eh? Who's this suspicious looking runt? Okay, boys, let's get rid of him. Bring it. I'm not afraid of you. I know your secrets. Okay. <laughs> Holy crap. That was a sick jump. Oh. I screwed it up. What is this? Just like a... Like a rush mode? You must be an assassin sent by Madame Meow Meow to rescue the mutt. Oh, this is where we're supposed to be. Good. You came here to get me, but it is I who will get you. Okay. Oh, he blocks. Interesting. What the? Ah, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. That's how we deal with this guy. I got you. Oh, shit. One more hit. I guess. Nah, he's tough, man. He's going for at least four. Oh! Oh, he got smarter. I hate it when they get smarter. Yeah! Maybe I was just too far back. You gotta bring him closer in, I guess. Come on. Come on. This dude is tough. There we go. 
Ooh. Barry. Okay, I have it on this button. Gotcha. Come here. Yeah! That is awesome. You caught a fairy in the bottle. Set it free anytime you want to get healed. So wait, if I die, is it going to pop out and revive me automatically? Because that's how it usually works. But it didn't say that. Bow Wow, I'm here to rescue you. You've saved Bow Wow. What a fearsome beast. Awesome. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> oh, I'm going to... I'm actually going to take him for a walk. This is great. Oh, that's right. You know what I just remembered, guys? Because he can actually eat the stuff in the swamp, I'm pretty sure. So he opens up, like, a lot of paths for us through the swamp. This owl sure does like to show up pretty frequently. Hoot! That is a fearsome-looking animal you have there. Do not forget, the next instrument is in Gopanga Swamp. Yeah. That area sucks, though. Okay, so that is still our destination. We just... We had to take a little detour first, apparently. Well, let's just see. Um... They're gonna make me go the long way around. Because I can't get to the swamp from here. What a pain in the ass. Alright. Well... Let's get to it. Yeah, get him, Bow Wow! Holy shit, he just ate that moblin. That was awesome. <laughs> okay, but seriously, I need some hearts, so, like, don't eat everything, please. You're being so stingy right now. Come on. Fill me up. I want health before I go back into that place. There's one. There we go. Beautiful. Get him, Bow Wow. Or not. <laughs> you were slacking on that one, Bow Wow. Come on. Get your head in the game. Oh, eat the like likes. Eat him. Eat him. Yes! That is awesome. Dude just eats everything. Get him. Get him, boy. No? Alright, I guess I'm still responsible for these guys. But he will eat the flowers. Which is really all I needed. Get them all out of my way, please. Let's go down here. Ow. Ow! Son of a bitch just turn around on me. It's very rude. Okay, I don't like this. Will he eat the big ones? Oh, he totally did. That is amazing. Okay. Your days are numbered. Yeah! Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, guys. Just gonna need this. Okay. Bow Wow's blocking me. That's okay. Oh, I can turn them around by shielding them. I didn't realize that. Not actually all that helpful, because you still can't hit them until they come out. Dude, look at Bow Wow pushing them off of the... He was, like, pushing him out of the water. Okay, you're annoying the shit out of me. Get out of here. This one respawned already. Maybe I never killed him. I'm not sure. What do we got here? Ooh, 50 rupees. Okay, we now have over 200. When we're done screwing around in here, we should probably go play some more crane game. That's lovely. Alright, so he's opened up that for us. And... Oh, the flowers respawn too? This thing wasn't here. Like a second ago. What? Oh, whatever. 
Let's just see what's inside here. Level two. Bottle Grotto. Bottle Grotto? Damn it. Ugh. Can't lift these pots. Can't smash them. Well, I guess that means we're going to get something that will allow me to lift them in this level. Because otherwise we wouldn't be able to get that chest. And I guess Bow Wow's just going to wait out there. I guess. I don't know. But now we may actually need to make use of our fairy dust. That we got long, long ago. There's one key. What happens? Okay. Wasn't sure if I'd be able to go over there or not. So we've got a locked door down there. We've also got one back here to the left. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Let's go left first. I hope I don't run out of fairy dust in here. That would just be dreadful. We'll have to make our uses count. Uh, do I need to light these? I probably should. I don't really know what that accomplished, but sure. Okay, you're gonna be annoying. Oh, they don't stay lit, what? Get out of here. Oh, look, we found the stone beak. I guess there's one in each dungeon. Okay. So these things didn't stay lit. I'm going to assume that I don't need to light them for any reason, really. And these ones went out, so... Okay. That sucks. Because now I don't know, like, which ones I actually do need to light, if any. Ah, hmm. uh, we'll figure it out. Part of the floor is raised. Tap the shining crystal. Yeah, that's... That's 2D Zelda 101 right there. <laughs> Toggle the obstacles on the ground by hitting the crystals. What the hell is this guy? Yo, look at... Dude, he's got, like, the ghost face killer mask. Look at this guy. Oh, shit, he's tough, too. Oh, okay, got him. Freaking scream up in here. There's another key. Thank you very much. Oh, boy. Oh, is that more fairy dust? That's excellent. Gonna go ahead and grab that. Nice. And let's hit the crystal so I have an easy escape. Dang, keys for days, guys. Keys for days, I say to you. What the? Oh, they're mimicking my movements. Why, though? Oh. But I can only hurt them from the back, which means I gotta do this. Yep. Gotcha. What? I can't get that from here. Uh, let's do a little bit of backtracking, but it's probably worth it to just do it right now, I guess. Except... Yeah, I can make it back. It's just a pain in the ass. No biggie. Honestly, I'm just really happy that they actually gave me more fairy dust in here, because I was really afraid I was going to have to go out and find more if I ran out. Alright, I got three keys now. We should be good to go. For a little while, at least. Spiked enemies. No 
big deal. Thank you. Oh, I wonder if I can fairy dust these electric guys. I feel like in certain games you can do that. Okay, not in this one, apparently. <laughs> Either that or I just missed. What you got to say, Mr. Al? Make every block design the same. A new path will open. Make every block design the same. I'm not 100% sure what that means, but I'm pretty sure I just pushed these in together like that. And voila! Whoop. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, the music almost turned into a version of, like, uh, the Super Mario Brothers Underworld music. Not exactly, but, like, kinda, you know? Okay. Whatever that did for me. I might as well grab these hearts right now, I guess. Hello! Yeah? <laughs> for a second, I thought he was gonna be... Like, friendly. Oh, God. Ah, jeez. Okay. Oh, God. Dude, he's like a pro wrestler. He just picks you up and chucks you. Right to the side of the room where you then fall through the holes. Okay, he's got bombs, too. Son of a bitch. Ugh. Gotcha. Thanks for the fairy. I was kind of hoping you would give me bombs, actually, because you had bombs, and I want bombs. You see the logic there. Oh, I wish I could lift those. Hmm. Now nah, we're gonna need... I swear I hit the jump button. I swear I did. Uh, we're gonna need... What is it? It's probably uh, a power bracelet. Oh, Jesus! What is... Okay, that sucks. Like, literally. <laughs> oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, God. Hey! We got ourselves a map. Love it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna get out of this room. <laughs> Made it. Okay, let's consult the map. Oh, look, it's basically like a big face. Almost looks like Ganon's face from, like, the 8-bit Zelda games. Um, so one room to the left, and then we want to go far right and just kind of keep looping around. There's one room down here I should have went in earlier, but I didn't. Thank you. Gonna not grab that fairy dust just yet. Booze! Oh my god, we have booze, guys. Booze are in the house, and they're dicks. Just like in Mario. Yeah, that's right. You don't like that, do you? Okay, cool. And there it is, finally, the power bracelet. At last, you can pick up pots and stones. Yes. Now, what I'm really hoping is that I don't actually have to equip that. Can I just do it? Thank you. Thank you for that. And I will grab that now. Oh, if you throw them into each other, <laughs> you can expedite the process a little bit. Will you also let me just sword them? Uh, I wish they would let me do that. It's all right, though. So how's this gonna work? Can I stand on top of this and hit the crystal? I can. Oh, weird, okay. One more key. Let's see. And I only see two more locked doors, so theoretically that's the last one we need. But now this thing is closed. Okay. 
so... There we go. Yep. Now I can come down this way. I gotta tell you guys, I was not expecting to get to the second dungeon so quickly. I feel like it happened quickly. <laughs> oh, crap. Now they're blocked this way. Oh, but I can jump. That's okay. Um... Yeah, why can't you just fall off the edge, too? Like your dumbass friend. Be too useful. Oh, oh come on! <laughs> I waited a second too long, I guess. Get out of here. Go away. Stay away. Right. So... I do wonder if I... I was gonna say, maybe something happens if we fill in all these squares with the blocks, but we can't actually move them, it seems. So, forget that idea. Oh, these things! Oh god, I hate these things. They're so strong. Um, oh, but they died of pots. That's good to know. <laughs> Yeah, so did you, if you guys notice, these things don't actually take damage from your sword. It was like that in the original game, too. Um, when I say original, I mean like the first Legend of Zelda on NES. Are they the ones that are called Poles Voice? I'm not positive. They might be called Poles Voice. They're weird enemies. Um, in Zelda 1, the best way to take them out was actually the bow and arrow because they were pretty much immune to your sword attacks, but they would die really quickly to the bow and arrow. I don't know if it's going to be the same in this game, because I don't have that item yet. I'm just going to break all these pots down here. Because you never know what they could be hiding. Well, in this case, they were hiding two things. Jack and shit. And also, I probably needed one of those to get down here, didn't I? Okay. <laughs> At least one, maybe more. Can you set pots down gently? I'm actually not sure. Let's see if just one will cut it. There we go. So where is this going to bring me out to? Oh, we're actually in the boss room now. Uh, <laughs> that sucks. We're here early. I don't have the boss key yet. Okay, guess I got to go back and head south. But at least now I know where I'm actually going once I find the boss key. Sorry, the nightmare key. Ah, it's the ghost face killer. I don't like him. Get out of here. Okay, what are we doing here? Let's see. Oh, I guess I could do this. Okay. Damn it. Got him. I don't get anything for that? I thought for sure that was going to be something. Uh, okay. Whoa, whoa, wow, that was pure luck that I just didn't get annihilated there. <laughs> Freaking piranha plants coming out of nowhere. You stupid plant. Oh. <laughs> oh, you know what? I wonder if I can. Eh, he's not gonna come out while I'm jumping around. Okay. 
Yeah, I think you get different rewards depending on how you kill those things. The Goombas, at least. Oh, wait. Oh, this brought me out here. Interesting. What? Okay, actually, that might be kind of fortuitous. Let's teleport back to the beginning. Because now I can grab this chest here. Love it. Keep those rupees coming. I'm gonna need them all. And then we still haven't gone down. Maybe this will be what I seek. Damn it. I was really hoping he would just die to that pot. <laughs> Okay, got the compass pretty late in the dungeon. Don't feel like I really need that anymore. But that's okay. Where haven't I... Oh, there's another chest right there. Hmm. Not sure if I can access that. Not even sure where I want to be going right now, guys. Um, let's teleport back, I guess? You gotta be standing in there just perfectly. And then from here... Where do I want to go? Uh, Go back the way we came, I guess. Yeah, so if we jump on the Goombas, they give us hearts. But I think it's different if you kill them with the sword. Oh, you just don't get anything. <laughs> but I think you're guaranteed to get a heart if you kill them by jumping on them. It's a fun little Easter egg. Yeah, there's a chest in this room, but I gotta figure out how to actually make it appear. Hmm. Yeah, we can trap this guy in here, but... Doesn't actually help. I wonder if you have to kill these guys in a specific order. Would that be a thing? Not sure. Okay, well, it does give you like a buzzer sound after you kill them all. So that does indicate to me that like that is what you're supposed to do. You just gotta do it right. God damn it. Wonder if I can hurt this guy now that I have a power power up. No. Uh, okay. So what are the patterns that I've tried so far? We probably had to kill this guy first. The Poles voice guy. Let's try Poles voice, keys, Ghostface killer. There it is. Figured it out. That's a really subtle audio cue that I almost didn't even pick up on. Nightmare key! Awesome. 
Okay. So now that that's done... I think it was this stairwell right here, wasn't it? That brought me to that room? No. It was the one up here and to the right. Tell you guys what, these old school Zelda dungeons are like proper mazes sometimes. It's gonna get a lot worse with all the passages and twists and turns. And the thing is, the map doesn't actually tell you which stairwell leads to what. So there's definitely an element of challenge to it. Hearts are full. I've got a fairy. I've got full fairy dust. I'm about as ready as I possibly could be for this. Whoa. It's like a killer clown. Ho ho ho! I'm your bad guy this time! Ho ho ho! Genie. Oh, he's got fireballs, guys. I don't have fireballs. Okay, let's see. We got the power bracelet in this dungeon. So, I think that's the item you would use to fight him. Uh, I can't move, but I'm still all right. <laughs> Your little sword won't break this bottle. Even the walls here look tougher than that dinky thing. Oh, so I should pick you up and throw you at the wall. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, yeah, you can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. Yeah, well, you won't have it for long, bitch. As long as I can stay alive. Ugh. Stick and move. Stick and move. That's two. Rule of three, guys. Rule of three. Gotcha, bitch. Wah, you broke my bottle. Why, you? You make me hopping mad. Okay. What is... What is happening? Oh! <laughs> Get away from me. Oh, I don't like this at all. I guess they can't actually hurt me, but... Feels dangerous. Okay, this is fine though. We're doing fine. Yeah, I figured I wouldn't be able to do anything to them. <laughs> Have to try though. Holy crap. Got him. Ah, feels good clearing a dungeon, guys. Feels really good. Let's see. Are there any chests in here? No. Looks like we've properly cleared this place out. Excellent. Mine? You got the Koch horn! Koch is not a word you say very often. Prairie. Prairie. Prairie is waiting. Okay, you're weird. Woo! 
Ooh, that's Dungeon 2 down, guys. Out of the way. And look at this. Oh, so many things are open to me now. Now that I can just lift these rocks. I love it. I love it so much. Well, we should probably go, uh... Not fall in the hole. And then go return Bow Wow. Bow Wow, eat it. Yeah! <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, so many things are open now. This is great. Got mole people down here. Go away. I will kill you all. Thou shalt not suffer a mole man to live. It's in the Bible. Wolf? Dig? Rough? Oh, does it tell me places I should be digging? I don't have a shovel right now. But, uh... Are these things freaking unlimited? Look at this garbage. It's crazy. Um, I should put a map marker here. Okay, diamond means dig. No, actually, spade means dig, because that makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? <laughs> spade means dig. What's this? Can't do anything with this? I thought I'd at least be able to read it, but I really can't. See what's down these steps here. Okay. Yes, that's awesome. Get him. Get him. What are you waiting for, dude? He's right there. All right, I guess not. <laughs> that works. Oh, uh, what's going on down here? This rock has many cracks. There must be some way to shatter it. Yeah, so I guess we'll need either bombs or maybe like a, a megaton hammer or something like that. Can't lift these up. Oh, oh, I can push them, though. Oh, how about that? But only once. Only once. Which means that heart piece is not accessible right now. Oh, I came out in the cemetery. I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. <laughs> Where is this on the map? Oh, we're all the way over here. I mean, we could keep Bow Wow and just kind of pal around with him. At some point, we have to take him back, but... Maybe not right now. I don't know. The owl didn't pop up and tell me where to go next, so... I'm actually not sure what to do right now. But I will tell you what I want to do. And that's go back to town. And either buy a shovel or just play a bunch of the crane game. Maybe a little bit of both. <laughs> so satisfying. I love having Bow Wow. I can't remember if I can go take him out whenever I want. I feel like maybe you can? What is up here? Ugh, more stuff I can't get. Oh, you know what this is, guys? The way this is laid out, this makes me think we're gonna need a, a hook shot. Which I don't remember being in the original game. Maybe it was. That's a cool item, though. I'm looking forward to having that. the shield guys he's just like oh, Yoink. Hmm. there's really nothing down there I couldn't remember what was over there on that side and I was like maybe there's something to collect but it's just a bunch of random holes in the ground. Don't do anything for you. Here's something new. Ooh! Look at that. Secret seashell. That's what? Two? Two out of God knows how many? Mom. 
Mulberry Village. I love it. Hey, lady, I found your quote-unquote dog. <laughs> oh, I really appreciate what you did for my poor precious Bow Wow. You are such a nice boy. How can I ever repay you? I know. Uh... Thanks. You got a reward from Madam Meow Meow. <laughs> Lucky. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna go now. Actually, I should talk to her one more time. See if she wants any dog food. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, my Bow Wow is so proud of his fine fur coats. Okay, you're an idiot. Who wants this stupid dog food, guys? I don't know. Let's see, is, um... Is Taren back here? Hey, he is. What's up, dog? I was hungry something fierce, so I went and got bananas at the beach. Dude, if you want some, you should go and get some. Yeah, maybe later. I do like me a banana every now and then. I hate how quickly they go bad, though. It's like, you buy some bananas that aren't quite ripe yet, and you're waiting for them to just get, you know, just right, and it's like, it takes forever, and then they're good for, like, a day, and then they go bad again. It's like, what the fuck, man? Okay, so, I'm assuming this is the only way I have to procure this shovel. Ten bombs, ten rubies. I can't buy this right now, can I? Oh, wow, really? But I don't even have a bomb bag. Dude, that's awesome! I guess I don't need a bomb bag. Alright. Fucking A. I have bombs now. And I'm taking this shovel, too. 200 rupees. Seems expensive. Yeah, well, you know. Money ain't no thing. We'll get more. You got a shovel. Now you can feel the joy of digging. All you have to do is set it to X or Y. Awesome. So at this point, we should just go around digging, like, everywhere. Just trying to find hidden things. I like that the animation is nice and snappy. In some of the older 2D Zelda games, digging was actually, like, a real pain in the ass. Just because, like, every... Every, like, shovel... Every shovel fool you did... I don't know how to say the sense I'm trying to say. <laughs> Every, every dig you made, like, every every usage of the shovel would just kind of be, like, kind of slow. Like, you just have to, like, stop, and the animation would take, like, a full, you know, like, second and a half, two seconds. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're trying to dig up, like, literally every single spot on the map, it made it really cumbersome. Anyways, let's do a couple of crane games. I... Would very much like that piece of heart. Oh, look, there's a little Bow Wow, um, statue, I guess, that we could, like, set up in people's houses. I guess that's what that's for. Anyways, we're going for the piece of heart first. Mm. So I know from last time that you don't actually really have an advantage from getting it, like, directly, perfectly on the center of the item. It actually kind of worked out better for me when I didn't have it like that. And look at that. Look at that. First try. First motherfucking try. Who is your daddy? I ask you. Okay. So we got that. Is that like a big bomb bag up there in the top left? I'm not sure what that is. Tell you what, let's go for the rupee. Just like once. See if we get lucky. Wow, this is going a lot better than last time. <laughs> Look at that. I'm two for two, guys. I will not be denied. I just won't. And now for the Bow Wow toy thing. Oh my god. Am I really this lucky? Did I really do it? Did I? I'm three for three. I'm three for three, guys. The crane game ain't shit. It's got nothing on me. Okay. I'm gonna go for this bomb bag up here. Like, one time. This is gonna be... 
really tricky. A lot harder than the stuff I just did. I'm not even sure, like, when the best time to go for it is. Um, probably when it stops on the far right. Wait, can I go left? I'm not even sure if I can. Let's try it. Nope, you can't go left, so you have to go right. Oh, yeah, that, that's tricky. Especially because, wow, it takes so freaking long to close the clamps. The timing on that has to be immaculate. do I want to do it, guys? Probably, like, when it's on the exact opposite side, right? Oh my god! Oh my god! Give it, give it, give it, give it, give it! Yes! Yes! I am the greatest Zelda player of all freaking time! Oops, I didn't mean to say yes to that. I was just excitedly mashing the button. Well, hell, guys, let's go for a shield that we don't need. <laughs> because why the hell not? This is actually the toughest one here. Look at this. Let's go now. Yeah, that was a massive whiff. That's okay. Don't need it. Had no expectation that I would get it. I'm gonna not button mash. No. Look at all these prizes, guys. Oh, that's awesome. So here we have... Oh, it's just magic powder? Fuck you. Why would they put that on the most difficult one up top? What? That's stupid. Damn it. I was all excited. You got a Chow Chow figure. There must be somewhere you can display it. Yeah, that's, that's the thing's name, Chow Chow. That's right. And that is 20 rupees. Okay. Yeah. Make a little bit back. And that completes a piece of hearts. Your maximum number of hearts increased and your health has been filled too. Awesome. So if I leave and go back in here now, does he have more stuff, I wonder? Oh, look at that. Rupees and a seashell. Hey, listen. I'm here. Might as well spend the money. See what else we can get. I'm on a bit of a hot streak here, guys. I want to go for that big rupee. Oh, that's terrible. I already screwed up. This is probably not going to happen. Are you kidding me? Oh! 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 Freaking nailed it! I must have just gotten really unlucky the first couple times I tried this. I guess, because now I'm just like... It's just giving me everything. And I really don't think I got, like, demonstrably better since the last time I did this. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Now we're back to this. Now we're back to this. Okay, I can try one more time. The good news is it's really close. So all I gotta do is move it like a couple inches. Come on, buddy. That'll work. That'll work. Thank you! Okay, you got a secret seashell. Put it to your ear and hear those whispered secrets. Whatever that means. You got 50 rupees. Hey, that's uh, that's awesome. I actually made a little bit of money on that. Okay. Hey, let's just check one more time. 
He keeps restocking things. Okay, rupees and hearts. And whoa, what's in the top left now? I don't have any idea what that is. Okay, I'm spending a lot of time in here right now, but um, I want to try this once. I just want to see if I get lucky. I want to know what that thing is. So we'll go all the way up here. What was the timing I used last time? I started like right now. Let's try this. Ah, it's a little too early. That's close. <laughs> what happens if you knock it off the platform? <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Okay. Yeah, I don't even know what that thing is, so um, I'm not gonna worry about it right now. We will uh, we will come back and do some more of that later. For now, I want to see if this lady gets happy if I give her a Chow Chow statue. Is this a stand for something? It says Bow Wow. Oh wait, does it have to go on, like, the specific one? Yeah, I, I guess you can't just put them anywhere you want. They have, like, a specific stand that they want to go on. I don't know where Chow Chow wants to go. Hmm. Honestly, the only other one I really know about is over here in Marin and Terran's house. It says piranha plant. Okay. What about this one up here? Goomba. We need Goomba and piranha plant for this house. Okay. Well, we'll just have to hold on to that until we figure out where it goes then. Well, I think that's going to wrap up this session, guys. We got through the second dungeon. We got a lot of stuff from the crane game. We're doing good. This is, this is really cool. Um, when we come back, I'm not sure where we're going to head, honestly. We've got a couple different places we can explore now, I think. And, um, I guess I can't actually take Bow Wow right now, which is unfortunate. I'd like to bring him with me. <laughs> I probably should have held on to him longer, but that's okay. We'll figure it out, guys. All right, thanks very much for watching. Really appreciate it. Love you guys, and I'll see you all in the next episode of Zelda Link's Awakening. Y'all take care.